Hello everybody, it's time for yet another Subpixel stream. We've got quite the stream for you today. Joining us, as always, every single stream, never wished one before, Jake Terrio. Yes, hello. Hi, hi baby boy, are you okay? Everything okay I'm over there? I'm okay, my dog is not. Okay. Uh, William Yosefitz Crispers, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> That's been the Christmas joke in a while. Uh, it's you know it's going good. <clears throat> you know, okay. I got things I'll to it. say. Hi, stream mom. I got things Hi, to say. Mom. People to talk to. My eruption mm. has broken down. Just letting you know. Um, unfortunately, Kyle's dead, so he's not going to be on the stream today. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's okay. We've got plenty of theme park for y'all to see. Boom! There she is. She'll be loading in in a bit. Maybe. Hopefully. There she is. Um, uh, w William, what you got to say? Um, what do I have to say? No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me let me put it a different way. What you got to say? Um, <clears throat> not really. Not much. Um, you know, anything? No, um, I was just going to say, I don't know why I'm starting with this, but um, I bought on the Epic Games sale. I purchased Anno 1800, Ooh. and I played it for about 17 minutes, mm -hmm. and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I looked myself in the mirror, which is my monitor, and I said, I don't have time for this, so I refunded it, and they really? instantly gave me a refund. And that's thought, what you were so excited to talk about. No, not really. I just was trying to think of something else to talk about, but uh, yeah. So, Anno 1800, great game, but just don't have time for it right now. Not for you? No, it's good. Like, I love Banished, and it's like the next layer up from Banished. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I can't get sucked into a game like this crazy right now, so I'm just going to hold off. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Zach. Also, it was running a little janky. No, I don't chalk that up to... Those turns are what I could have fixed. I, I don't chalk that up to anything, but uh, yeah. Also, I I need to look it up and send it. I'll post it in our uh, Discord. But I swear there mm -hmm. is a song in Anno 1800 that is based off of a song in Banished. Oh. They're like super similar. And it was to the point that I like was going to go look it up. Um, oh. Yeah, that's about that's all I had to say about that. Um, not much else. Uh, I started playing Origins because you suck. Oh, Assassins. Yeah. Yeah. How you feel? Uh, how are you liking it? It's good. I, I so I, I, I loaded it up. I said to myself, so I actually had played that game for twelve hours. I didn't realize that. Wow. I mean, my playtime is only like sixteen. Yeah. So, you've been so I. Away. I loaded it up and I immediately deleted that save because I did not want to deal with loading into that, trying to remember the controls without a tutorial. And yeah. then like, and then 30 hours later, I realized I was missing out on something because I forgot how to do it. Yeah. So, uh, I, uh, it's pretty fun. I just started a new game and I'm like, I think I'm four, four-ish hours in now and Man, that game is... I forgot how good that game is. It's very good. Yeah, it's... it's it's. I don't, I don't know how to, like... It just feels like... What I thought the Assassin's Creed genre was, I thought it was just stale with a bunch of, like, open-world tropes put on top of it, but it feels like a, a well-made, modern open-world game, and I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, That's really good. What else have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing that. I've been playing a bunch of Kenshi. I have uh, 10 characters now. They're all... I have like a mini outpost that I'm collecting resources and selling a bunch of stuff. What's Kenshi again? Um, that I, it's kind of it's kind of like Dwarf Fortress uh, in concept, but it's a 3D single-player game. It's this giant island, mm -hmm. and you are a nobody. You literally start... All your stats are blank. Mm -hmm. Um... You can get, you can play the game as an RTS. You can play the game as an RPG. You can play it as a single player. You can play it with like ten characters. What's the uh, What's the interface? Um, is it Is it like that single POV top down like Dwarf Fortresses? 
No, it's um, like you you can choose to follow your character around. Mm -hmm. Like, it's third person, but also kind of top down. Um, and it's click to like walk and tell your character where to go. Um, but you can just zoom the camera away from them and go do other things and go between your characters. Um, yeah, I really don't know how to explain how it how it plays, but it it's just like it's inhospitable the land you're in like my, one of my first characters just got enslaved and i was just stuck in my chains for a while but i was reading online like it's a really good strategy to to start the game go get yourself enslaved so you can just uh get your laboring skill up really high while being protected by your masters oh, wow. and then eventually escaping so it's like okay all this stuff um yeah i don't know it's just like it's, it's kind of the same feeling I get from playing Dwarf Fortress, but just like more, a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like Dwarf Fortress, but this I like Dwarf Fortress. I need to like think about it for a bit and then like, oh, should I play some Dwarf Fortress? But this I can just like kind of jump right in. But this also has the uh, extreme loss yeah. that comes with like having characters um, that you slowly fall in love with. But yeah, it's crazy. It's a it's a special kind of game, for sure. That sounds like fun. Anything else you've been playing, baby boy? Um, I think that's it. I I I start. I had started Dead Space three, but I think I mentioned this last stream. It's just so wildly different that I, I'm gonna finish it. But I, I'm putting the Dead Space stuff on a back burner. So you say it's different, uh, but how? As somebody who's never played Dead Space, how is it different? Um. It's just like, it's like they read every popular game that had come out that year, and they're like, we should emulate all that stuff. So like, suddenly, the first two games had like an upgrade system that was these nodes that you would plug in to like weapons or your suits and stuff at a workbench. Yeah. And the it was mostly like a skill tree for each weapon in the rig and stuff. And then in three, it's like you're finding parts to like upgrade your weapon like build new parts for your weapon or like give it a different stock or faster reload mm -hmm. and it's just like not something that was in the other games it's like why is it here yeah you, you don't feel like it needed all that uh, got it yeah it was just a bunch of like rando stuff um and there's something else there's a couple other things that are in it i can't think of right now that just make it it's like, oh, well, it's more like, oh, that's just too. It's kind of like a cover shooter too now. Oh. Like you can crouch and like get behind things. And I think they just went in a completely different direction. So someone who played the first two before it, like it's just vastly different. Yeah. Um, it almost sounds like a weird reboot in a way when they didn't need to reboot. Yeah, because it was it's weird because one and two are super similar and they're the they're the farthest away from each other yeah 2008 to 2011 and then three is 2013 so they did all of those changes in two years wow that's pretty bonkers i, I just don't know why they did it um yeah uh, so that's kind of on the back burner mm -hmm. um can't think of anything else i'm really playing are, are you playing anything uh of note um i am hi will i am that's me uh, what have i been playing i haven't played origins i think i hit about 18 hours like level 29 or something but i think i may be done i was i was just thinking about this today what's what's y'all's relationships with finishing a game like do you feel obligated to, to finish a game or are you okay stepping away at some point and just being like i've had my fill uh i think it definitely depends on the the title yeah uh, it also depends if finishing what do you consider finishing the game like getting to the end of a campaign yeah i would say finishing story um yeah i, I tend to finish get to the end of the story for every game i won't 100 percent it um but i guess it depends on how much 
work I'm putting into the game and how easily I can get distracted by a different game. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, three, I wasn't enjoying that much, so I, I was like, oh, I'll spend 20 minutes checking out Origins again, and then I just fell into Origins. Yeah. Um, so I don't think I'm going to finish that game, I think is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, nothing against yeah, the I game. I think put enough time into it. Yeah, it's just... Kind of reach for a point. Uh, also, I did buy uh, Snow Runner. Nice. That's how you play in that. Um, so I do. Oh. Oh. What happened? The chairlift. I guess that kind of makes sense. I thought the chair. I thought you could make the chairlift circular, but you can't. Well, that's okay. I'll just oh. build two stations right next to each other. Anyways, um, so I, I was going to say that uh, I've been playing SnowRunner. I think I'm enjoying it. It's it's a it's a pretty masochistic game, isn't it? In a way. Oh yeah. Um, and I am enjoying it. It's just. I don't know. It's weird. I, I'm enjoying playing it, but I don't think it's because of the game. I think it's because it's a, it's a fantastic podcast game, and I am backlogged on my podcast. Um, and that's what's really making it enjoyable for me. Um, gotcha. So, the other thing is the UI. There's so much to do in that game, but I, I don't know. Will, have you been having trouble, like, navigating and, like... It's just the way the controls work and the UI works and everything. It's like there's all this stuff to do, but it's so difficult to, like, pick something to do. And then it's not very clear what you have to do and where those items are on the map. Have you been having that problem? Yeah, I, you get to the point after that tutorial that you really don't know what to do. So what I ended up doing was I just took the SUV pickup mm -hmm. truck. And I just drove around the entire map, and that gave me a lot more yeah. freedom. And then I found stuff, and that's when I was like, oh, this is what I should be doing. Yeah. Like, that sort of stuff. But I just mean more in terms of, um, I was having difficulties with, like, it will, how do I put this? It will, uh, okay, give me a second. I know there will be something on the map, and I'll hover over the map, and it'll tell me what to do. But it's not super—it's not super intuitive for me to select that as what I want to do. And then even when I select it, the pickup and drop-off icons on the map don't necessarily reflect that mission. They just reflect something else entirely. So it's—it's it's like really hard to parse the map because there's all these icons and stuff, and they're—and the ones that are popping are not necessarily related to your current quest. And so it's like—it's like I. I that's the big gripe I have with this game, is I want to be like, okay, let me do this mission. And then it's just like, I, it's always a struggle for me to just pick the mission, figure out what I actually have to do, where I'm going on the map. And then anytime I interact with the UI, I feel like that resets itself. So that's that's frustrating for me. Um, yeah. But other than that, still enjoying it. Um, what else have I been playing? I've been playing some iRacing. I, I do have some news. Which is that I joined, um, I joined a, a racing team, and we're going to be trying to race the 24 hours of Le Mans. There's a virtual version, Ooh. but it will actually be 24 hours, um, wow. which is pretty exciting. So it's basically going to be a 24-hour race. I think we're doing about eight people per team, so each of us is going to be responsible for around three to four hours per. Hopefully split up. But uh, Hopefully. it's it's pretty exciting. I'm excited for it. Um, so I've been practicing on that. And then the other thing, I don't know, I've been racing in that. I guess that's mostly it. What about you, Jake? You been playing any games lately? Jake, you're muted. We can't hear you. Uh, not as much as I would have hoped. I uh, have been 
doing Animal Crossing more irregularly as I'm getting more tasks completed. Um, so now I have uh, all of the fossils oh. in my fossil exhibit, which we will see on the next Animal Crossing stream. Yes. But um, beyond that, um, oh, I did just buy a uh, Void Bastards because it came out on Switch and PS4 oh, nice. maybe a week or two ago. And so I haven't done anything in that yet, but it is downloaded. So That's I will be game. playing it. Very good game. Yeah, also on Game Pass, if anybody wants to try it out. Yeah, I didn't finish it. I am looking forward to it. Um, anything else? Um, no, I mean, I played a little bit more Jet Lancer. I, I reached out to the infinite void of the internet because I was having trouble on a level where you have to, like, get a certain combo score to progress. And I was finding it really difficult, and the developer reached out and was like, "Yeah, we're we're nerfing that level soon because it's too hard That's, for a lot of people. It's too much for people." <laughs> but um, the the vibe of the game and the gameplay itself, I'm really enjoying. Like, it's still fun to fail that level, even though I keep failing it. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Um, yeah. So once I finish this ride, I do have some more. A little bit more game talk to talk about, but uh, game talk, game talk, girl talk. I'm game talk. Hi, I'm game talk. Um, Hi, I'm game talk. TikTok, mother. I did finish uh, Harry Potter and the uh, Order of the Phoenix today. Um, that's very that's excited. The fifth one. That's the fifth one. I finished that book. Um, Dad worked on the publicity for that. Well, for the book, you're for the movie. Was, oh, okay. Is your dad Harry Potter? Yes, Daniel Radcliffe what? is my father. <laughs> oh my god. Maggie, Jake's dad played <laughs> Harry Potter in the movies. <laughs> he writes letters to Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jehovah's, right? Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, because they're witnessing. Wow. For our Lord and, and Savior. And if you don't know. And you don't. <laughs> if you, if you don't know, you don't know. If you don't yeah. know, you don't know. Oh, you don't. You don't know. Oh, you, oh, you don't know about our Lord. Yo, people are lining up for this butt. Excuse Who's butt? Excuse me. Sorry, my coaster. People are lining up for it because it's a good coaster. But I gotta fix this little. They're old lining trolls. up for your butt. No, they're lining up for my coaster, Jake. I just said my butt because it sounds cool. I just said my mm -hmm. butt, my, 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 I just said my, um, sorry, I, I don't mean to keep teasing, but I do have okay? something fantastic to show you guys. Well, let's, let's, let's see it. I'm trying to finish this ride first, Jake, please. Or at least let's talk about it. I'm just trying to get this talk about chairlift it. going. Here. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait, wait a minute. I got to rename it and then it should be good. It's Open. What are you gonna name it? Um, lift me up before you go go. Oh, that's that's good. a good name. I was thinking about like putting a pun that's, in there, that's but because chairlift is not really a big pun. Just because I say lift and it's a chairlift, but I, I think I'm okay with that one. Okay, let me just check my pathways. It's super hard for me to get these. Okay, all right. Um, I believe it was Monday morning that I woke up. And I saw a tweet about a sale that GameStop was having. They were just selling their each franchise inde independently. <laughs> no, they had um, basically they had a whole bunch of like T-shirts for five dollars, and then they had this is not an advertisement for GameStop. It's just one of the very few times they have good sales. We'll be the judge of that. They had a whole yeah. bunch of used games marked down, and then it was buy two used games for $10 or less, get to used games $10 or less for free. So I basically got four video games and a t-shirt for $25 total. Uh, what a deal you can have at GameStop. So I, I think I did pretty <laughs> That's good. That's just incredible. So here's, I got this shirt. It's a Dungeons and Dragons oh, that's blurry. classic art style shirt. Dang it, Skype! Nice. 
All right, give me a second. Skype you, miserable piece. Of What's Dorngens and Drugens? Isn't that Satan? It's Jorgens and Dragons. We should make a knockoff game oh. called Jorgens and Dragons. No, it should be Androgynous Dragon. Hey, here it is. Wait. There we go. Wait. No, my camera wasn't focusing. Look at that shirt. Isn't that a good shirt? Wow. You're saying you got this awesome, amazing shirt at GameStop? For $5 <laughs> online. I'm not going to GameStop. For $5 store. only online? All right, then I got four games. You ready? Any guesses on what I got? Ooh, do you think we could guess it? I'll give each Wait, of you system? three guesses. What system? Um... Ooh, yeah. Two Xbox One, <laughs> an Xbox 360, and a PS4 game. Ten dollars or less. Um. Hmm. Prototype, or was that PS3? You said prototype. Beautiful Katamari. No. no, I think I already. No, I've already played it. Okay, I'm just gonna go through them. You ready? This is from like. Zora's Wrath. This is from like. They get they get hyper as we go. All right, so the first one. Batman Arkham Knight, because I'm in my open world mm, I mode. I love that cover art. And also, this oh. game uh, apparently runs like trash on the PC, so I never really played it. Why didn't you get Arkham Asylum? Or, or have you already played Arkham? I already Asylum? played Asylum. I played like an hour or two of oh, City, okay. and I didn't want to replay that section, so I've I figured just go to night. No, I forgive you. I just wanted to make sure you had played Asylum. Another one, ten dollars. Apparently, the best game in the franchise so far. Well, that may have changed with the most recent one. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. With <gasps> Call of Duty Modern Warfare Comes Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered. Yes. Oh, so I'm excited no. to play that. People said this one was actually rather inventive for a, call, for a Call of Duty game. Is that the one that Jeff Gersman said was really good? I think so. It's the one that's in space. It's like sci-fi future. Yeah, with Kid Harrington. Yes. And apparently there's like a crazy mission structure. Wait, it just crashed. The bobsled. Uh, one of my rides oh. crashed. Don't worry about Sorry, it. Sorry, I thought that was me. Everyone's dead. We lost Don't worry 700. About it. Yes. it was just testing. Next one. We're getting even more hype no here. No one was aboard. Next game for the Xbox 360 Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. You guys ever play these games? Ooh. Is, I've played Midnight Club. This is what I've Need for never Speed always wanted to be. Like it's it's like tuner, yeah, yeah. car racing, city racing, good stuff. Um, yes, stream on Infinite Warfare. That's what That's what I got. And then yeah, that is pretty hypey. And we're right. My last five dollar game for the PlayStation Four. New Gundam new Breaker. Gun Ooh. Break that is nude Gundam Breaker. Break build battle. It's literally a game where you build gunpla, equip them with weapons, and then fight against each other. And this one's supposed to be a good Gundam game, which is apparently rare. That's pretty good. Do you have to sand it and? use markers oh god hey you know what that reminds <laughs> me i i think I, you know what you guys uh what well do you know about do you know about bluefin brand i saw you tweet something about it today i didn't know what it was but i didn't want to get no addicted to nothing i don't know why i'm winning his accent either bluefin Sounds like brand is an authorized fishing. american distributor of gunpla but they are also they also do individual sales and as of 18 minutes ago, they just put a whole bunch of new Gunpla up for pre-order, including, like, several, like, $35 and $40 Master Grade kits. Hey, what if you decided to shut up right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I w I'm very tempted to just keep doing the stream, but I order Gunpla on the side. But then I remembered that you're seeing my game screen, so it's not as good. Maybe I should order Gunpla. You should. You should. I don't know how quickly they're going to sell out because basically it's pre-orders for later this year and apparently they're like limited numbers, but there's a lot of good stuff. I mean, for the right amount of money, I would quickly sell out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's also, <laughs> just to be clear, it's it's new Gunpla models, which like their designs get better and better every year. So these are going to be like the best designed both aesthetically and mechanically. Um, anyways, did, the, did all the music stop in the game? It's uh, just the music stops when away. something explodes, and I don't know if you have to like turn it back on or not. I also oh, I also don't I, hear crowd noises. Ouch, waffle, please. Do you guys hear crowd oh. noises? No, but I am not anywhere near crowds. Yeah, me neither. I hate crowds. Oh, well. Social distancing. 
Um, I'm trying to build a giant pyramid of death. Oh, how do you? I don't know how to build with these stupid things. Obsidian skyscraper. Sloped corner. Okay, we're at 2,730 guests. We're doing pretty good, folks. Okay. Where's submarine ride? Oh, I never renamed my submarine ride. So, of course, I'm going to call it. Yellow submarine. No. Jake, you got to guess what I'm going to call it? I'm thinking it's something horrible, but I can't think of a, <laughs> the right kind of horrible. That's dead on. It's our new ride, Jared from Subway. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh, boy. Um, uh, Stream Mom, I, or I think the one I'm thinking of, the Call of Duty that came out in 2014 is the one Jeff Gersman really liked. That's, is that? Advanced, Advanced Warfighter? That's the, that's the one with Kevin Spacey. Yeah, ah, and a skilled actor, um, <laughs> and known for nothing else. You know what, Stream Mom? <laughs> I, for nothing else. I do remember Infinite Warfare got a lot of negatives. I can't even remember why it got negatives, and it was also the same year that Battlefield Earth. No, which Battlefield was it? Because I feel like Battlefield Earth is the Scientology movie. I think it was. I, the, I think it was the same year uh, Battlefield One got the announced. Cop one? I think Battlefield One. Uh, not the cop. Because. What happened was Battlefield and Call of Duty released trailers around the same time, and one got a bunch of likes and the other one didn't. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna build more. I built another roller coaster. I'm sick of everything. Did you? S uh, yes, yes, Jakington. Sorry, Jake. No, there is something you said. Um, did you say Battlefield Gotham? I I didn't. I might have misheard one of the titles you said. I I did. But I was. Not. But uh, I was suddenly imagining like a Batman Battlefield game. Wasn't that called like Battle? Like you're a police officer in Gotham. Battlefleet Gothic. <laughs> Wasn't that a, a, a? Oh, Battle Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, Warhammer. That's, yeah. RTS. That's a worm murmur. Hi, I'm a war murmur. Or Battlefield Golgotha, and it's set in ancient Israel. Ancient Israel? I should get Karen to play it. She's Israeli. What? You can't say that. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you have to uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Everybody, everybody, take five seconds to think about what you're gonna say before you say it. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say isn't bad, but I can't say it because it would come across as bad. Yeah. Stream Mom says the game um, itself wasn't bad, but people were still were getting upset with the direction of the series. I'm trying to remember, Stream Mom. Do you remember what specifically about the direction of the series they got upset about? I can't remember. Uh, the direction of making bad video games. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? And I'm on this strange website called Bl Bluffin Brands. Yo, you find some Gumpa Boy? I don't. I mean, why wouldn't I just buy it off of Bubblegum? Planet Gundam. Well, because this is all Gundam pre order Planet. stuff, so this stuff may not even hit Planet Gundam. Oh, until next fall. Planet Gundang. Well, no, you. Yeah, you would get it first from these guys, because basically Planet Gundam is probably going to order from bluefin as well so it's going to be a little bit cheaper yeah. through bluefin it guarantees you pre-order i don't see, where's the sale though that's the thing i don't see uh you probably have to follow my tweet it's probably not, it's, it's not really a sale it's like a pre-order mm, plug in his twitter account Ugh. yeah if you can follow me at, at thank gibson for all your gunpla news daddy likey um you know the wario 64 of gunpla yes Oh, it ships in October. I s yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Anyway. Zeta Gundam. <coughs> I think I'm gonna get Goof for Sutherland Blue. Is that up. Zeta Gundam still available? Gooper. I'm checking right now. What did you now. see? Wait, how did it how did it blow up? I don't know, but it blowed up. I don't know if it had people on it. Was the ride open? Yeah. Oh no. It didn't blow up on my screen. 
I'm Blew seeing it says screen. crashed, and I'm watching Crash. debris fall into the water. And I'm watching a thing go back and forth. Where, where? At? Also, our guest count is dropping. Where, where is it? Uh, now it's going back up. Yeah, it's leaving because people are dying on the rides. Yeah. Wait, where's? I don't see the crash on Goofer Southern. Are you guys disconnected? What's your uh, guest count? Two seven three seven. You should be twenty six forty seven. I think y'all got to reconnect. Oh, so did this happen in the past? Generic Disney <laughs> yeah. sports movie crashed. Wait. It's about to happen, Ian. My God. Wait, is your Mary not broken down? My now? sports movie ride crashed. I I think you guys got to reconnect. Right. Okay. Like, it the okay. Game, like, look up. I don't but. have to save anything, right? I just quit the menu and log back in. Yeah, yeah you just you just do that. Okay. I'm logging back in. Um, Stream Mom says... I'm back in. 2641 guests. People were getting tired of the increasingly futuristic uh, tech. You see you're in 2639? 2639? Yeah. That's what I'm reading. That's correct. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Oh, he's basically talking about there's bad monetization procs practices like loot boxes and expensive DLCs and all sorts of like different movement options and bad multiplayer. So they basically they thought Infinite Warfare was going in that same direction, so they kind of boycotted it on announcement. Now I'm now I'm scared that this ride is gonna crash. Goofer Southern. Like people are still leaving. But I'm about to prevent that. Oh, Why can't no. I put a sign there? Oh. I know what you're going to do. Yep. Although it won't let me place a sign. You know, it says I can put one there. Oh, boy. Daddy got the yawns. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Love, love the yawns. Give me them yawns. Wait, Wait I, I can't. I can't, can't place signs anywhere. You're not authorized. Actually, let me check. You are a user, and a user is allowed to. You can play scenery. I fight for the users. I can't. Oh, I can. Weird. I can't place. I'll try and place it. I can't place signs. I don't know if you can, Jake. I don't care enough to try. I know that I can't. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jake spitting hot fire. Yeah, I can't. I can't place signs. That's weird. Oh no. I gotta do see-through rides as well. Yo, there. Are, wait, I want to see how many people are stuck on my stupid boat ride. Oh my god, I placed it and it's working. I think it's working. There are three hundred and ninety-one people on my, my my log flume, whatever it is. Wow, what's it called? I <laughs> uh, don't want to say. Uh oh. It can't be worse than mine. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> uh, 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 there's 390 people on it right now. Yeah, Stream Stream Mom says his favorite Call of Duty game is Black Ops 2, but it's still 60 bucks on Steam and the DLC is full priced. I hate that. That's why I was so excited to find Infinite Warfare for five bucks, basically. Okay, I gotta. I'm being real lax at day school today. Y'all lazy today? <laughs> yeah, I was I'm feeling it. I was very lazy today. Uh, launch me, daddy. Broke down. What'd you say? Did you launch me, daddy? 
Yeah, you got a problem with that? Ian? Yeah, not allowed. Kill you. No lunch. Wait, no I can't. Daddies. I keep hearing uh, Maggie sewing, and I keep thinking something's gone horribly wrong in the game. Oh, yeah, she's sewing masks. She gives masks to, like, white people. <laughs> or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> what does that mean? You guys sew your own masks? No, because I'm not... Uh, oh. No. Why not? Why does it keep bringing me all the way? Uh, because I get masks from Karen's company that sews them. Are they any good? They're pretty good. They're made so if you have like a N95, you can slip it inside of it. Is that a text form? Oh, you mean you slip the N95 inside the mask? Yeah. Well, they're like mask coverings. Got it. I, I, I did a, an HK mask. You guys know about that one? That design? Uh, that's a negative flight. Hong Kong? Yeah, I think, I think it's basically, I think it was made from the Hong Kong protests. But, uh, it's, it's a pretty good one. It's hard to talk when you're building. Um, <laughs> it's pretty, it's, it, it, it could. Um, but yeah, what I liked about it was, uh, a lot of the masks people are making are just kind of like a rectangle with pleats on it, you know, and that, like, you can, you can't really wrap your face, it just, like, goes on your face, you know what I mean? But the Hong Kong mask is, like, if you take your two, it's shaped and contoured, like, if you take your two hands and put them over your mouth like this, that's, that, yeah. that's basically the pattern for it. So it does a really good job of actually contouring to your face and, and covering a huge area, like, it cups under your chin and over the top of your nostrils. Like the normal oh. ones, I had a problem where it was sliding up and down all the time. Did you? Yeah, Daddy didn't like them. Um, That's fascinating. Thanks, buddy. That is actually kind of cool. Uh, it's really easy to sew. Yeah, you just print out a PDF and then it gives you the uh, like a template to cut the fabric from. What about in chat? Stream mom says my family has to make their own masks since we live out in the middle of nowhere. I think it's good to make your own mask anyway. I wouldn't buy them unless you're actually getting real masks. I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a big fan of people selling masks. Those people need to die. Preferably from yeah. COVID. Uh, but, you know, since we're uh, just chatting about COVID, how are you guys holding up? Y'all good? Yeah. Yeah, I had to go into... Um our office has has uh, reopened at reduced capacity, oh. and I had to go in to That's right. help out with a with a um, like a webinar that we were doing, and my, my machine had to get used for for rendering out the final product. I keep forgetting um, that that you're in Florida, so y'all just have like yeah. Well, we just had the woman who, um, yeah. the doctor who was in charge of building out the COVID-19 dashboard for the state of Florida got fired because she was unwilling to falsify data. So who knows if our numbers are accurate That's ridiculous. It's like, lady, just do your job, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew that's just, where that was going. Just do what Ronald DeSantis tells you. You imbecile. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I was the only one in the office wearing a mask, so that was neat. Wait, they weren't requiring people to wear masks? No, HR HR does together. require you to wear masks, but there was, a, I guess, not enough people there for that to be enforced. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, Stream Mom says it made a bunch for family and friends. Yeah, that's what we've been doing, too. Maggie. And uh, Maggie's been making them. We should make some of ones. You know, we could, but well, we'd have to get fabric or we do the red, green, blue. But Ian thread. did also just say that people who sell masks should die from COVID. So oh, that's true. I think people who sell. <gasps> that's a good idea, Jake, though. What if we died from COVID? <laughs> <laughs> is, that's what we've come up with. It. Jake, it's so easy to get you. I love it. Thank you. What if I get you, baby? Yeah, I mean, our numbers would go up if we died from COVID, right? Okay, wait, we should make a pact here. 
if one of us dies from else. COVID, we have to make a YouTube video about it, right? Like, yeah. sappier the no, better. I thought you were going to say, if one of us dies from COVID, we all have to die from COVID. <laughs> That's a better idea. I like That's that. That's our pact. I like that one better. What did you say, Maggie? Is Maggie, Maggie chastising us? She said, "We're." She said, "You're not using your death for publicity." Hey, what if you just went and freaking wrote another letter? <laughs> she don't understand the struggle that is YouTube. Yeah, I'm out here selling my body, woman. <laughs> Wait, what are you selling? Nothing. I thought we talked about this. Yeah. What's it? You don't have to sit under those desks. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what Will's talking about. <laughs> Jake knows. He's had to sit under those What? No, I have, a, I have a standing desk. Oh, even better. Wish I worked for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, I'm Is this still PG-13? I'd still... <laughs> what talk? Is this stream gonna get flagged? Oh, do you think it would? Oh no, no I think it's if we're, if we're trying to like promote, like. I mean, I am promoting. You like dying use it to get COVID, clicks. So. That that happened. The Jackbox stream I did. I originally called it "Surviving COVID-19 with Friends" or something like that, and uh, it. It instantly demonetized it, and so I switched it to oh. like hanging out with friends. Yeah. But that was like right when it started happening. That's cray cray. So they cray don't cray. joke around. That's cray cray. That was before everybody died. Um. Well, I think I've made a death coaster, but I can't. I won't know for sure until I test it. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm about to finish my coaster that I've been working on for like 20 minutes. I was gonna say something else about COVID. That it's a hoax. Wait, our... Yeah, we have too many deaths. Our park rating is zero. You guys see that? Our park rating is zero? Oh, what happened? Oh, we need the deaths. I'll take a look Maybe at it. The... That's not good. We were at 999, or we were close to it for a while. Stream Mom uh, says that, Will, you've got that camera focused like perfecto. Yeah. That's called Skype for you, buddy. I think it's also the positioning. That's nice. You got a little moving background. Oh, thanks, babe. Karen's playing some God of War. God of War. God of War. Oh, did somebody? How do we? How do we see? What there? Is there like a way to track if? I think you just go to the people and then you see what their thoughts are. You know what I mean? Like my friend just died on that ride. Yeah. I mean, I'm still having a blast, but. <laughs> uh. I want. <laughs> oh, look at the the most popular thought in the uh, in the. I want guest. to go home. Is that what it is? No. Oh. I want. <laughs> if you put a comma in there, it makes a lot of sense. It makes even yes, more it, sense. It's much more. <laughs> Will, can you read that out Wait, loud? What is it? I didn't you know see how to do it. it? Go to the go to guest and then click on the crowd. I know how to do it. Well, then read but... it out loud. I want to get off. I'm so. <laughs> it's perfect, isn't it? It does need a comma. Oh my god, it's incredible. Oh, and I didn't think about formatting. I I named my my hedge maze a certain thing. So there's a lot of guests saying, "I want to get out of a Stephen King novella." Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, I gotta see if this works. Okay, nobody seems to be talking about the amount of deaths that we've had. I think it's just like the cleanliness stuff, right? But the problem is I think we have to go around and like set up patrols properly and I hate doing that. It's so annoying. We need to hire a million more maintenance workers. No, I, th I haven't I finished my wonton soup yet, think, one person is thinking. I think we're maxed yeah, out can you go on workers. Oh no. What? Uh, I was gonna say, can you go check it again? Oh no. Did you just change it? Oh. There you go. That's good. That's smart. <laughs> it looks better now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That is the best thing ever. Okay, so I'm gonna reopen. Maybe it was my bobsled ride that killed somebody, but <laughs> maybe I'll just delete it. But Could it I'll be me see, who's wrong? See if it kills somebody else. What's the Simpsons thing, right? What's what? Is it uh, the guy who says, is it me who's wrong? No, it can't be. Oh, yeah. It's the children who are wrong. I've only seen the meme. I have not seen the Simpsons. Uh, same. Oh, Stream Mom says, stick a random mascot in the middle of the hedge maze to scare people. <gasps> oh, I wonder if you can do that. I don't know if you can put... Um... Maybe just drop them there? Oh. Or does it count as a ride? That's a good question. Okay, so people Pretty are queuing up these. for a generic Disney sports movie ride. Pretty happy with this monster truck that I did. Pretty happy with the roller coaster I just built. What? What is it? Where is it? The it's everywhere. Oh, no. Zoom out. Oh, no. Does it work? I don't know where it is. It's going right now. When did our park rating drop off? Hold on. Park rating is zero. Yeah, it bottomed out. In the guys, my eruption still hasn't been fixed. <sighs> Should get someone to look at that. How do we get the park rating back up? No one's gonna come to this park. We're never gonna reach nine thousand people or whatever. Okay, so let me. Um, uh, How did our park rating go to zero? It's too crowded here. So... It must have been that somebody actually died on a ride. Yeah, it could have been. I okay. imagine oh. that can tank your park rating pretty quick. It was in October, right? It was somewhat between October and March is what the timeline says. I don't know if we can go back. Somebody check the stream. I'm checking it on the the bottom thing. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to build more paths so that people don't people have more space to spread out because they said they feel crowded. Feels so crowded by everybody all the time. Just because. Just so crowded. Whoops. Yeah, I don't see anything on the menu. Just guess saying they're stuck. Trapped. I'm going to. In a world of our design. I'm going to connect. Um... Oh, I fix this. Gonna connect Kyle's two areas. I know what I need to do. We know what needs to be done. You know what needs to be done. Are uh, you guys been any watching any of that there uh, movie, cinemas, film, flicks, television series? Uh, Hazel and I have been rewatching a lot of things, uh, and we've been, but as of current shows, we've been watching uh, Killing Eve and what we do in the shadows. Is uh, is Killing Eve worth it? Yes. <coughs> okay, good. Okay, now I'll watch it. It's very good. That's good. I'll watch it too. Oh. It does. Uh, it does do the same thing that. Did you watch the uh, Mass Mickelson Hannibal series? No, I did not. Okay. That's also very good. Okay, I'll but put that on. That's coming to Netflix. And, I think so, but it and Killing Eve both get more mm -hmm. um, indulgent mm -hmm. as the as the seasons oh, go on. I this like is that. season three of Killing Eve, and Hannibal only had three seasons, but yeah. the third season was very like, we're gonna do whatever we want with this show because we can. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete my no entry sign because I think it may be causing problems. I think so too. Uh, it, nobody has come. I don't see anyone coming to the park. I don't. I don't, I don't think they are because they know that people have died. I don't. I wish. I don't, is there a cheat that we can get rid of that people died? I don't know that can I we, can delete it because I I don't know that I can click on it. I placed it. <gasps> oh, come on. Generic Disney sports movie just crashed. I did not see. Am I out of sync with you guys again? How? What's the? I didn't see that. 2669. Two, six, I got 2666, six, 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 but I've not been given any sort of prompt <laughs> that the. Will's out of sync. I'll just. No, but it blew up. 
Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop out, and then I'm gonna pop back in, and then I'm gonna delete generic Disney movie ride. No, no, but Jake, you're f oh, you're man. fine. It's Will that's out of sync. But it's my ride. I feel responsible for it. All right, I need to delete that sign, but I can't get to it. How do I get to it? You know what I'm talking about? I network desync detected immediately. Okay, generic Disney sports movie ride. It's still open. It, it would have been closed if it killed somebody. No, I'm no, going to no. delete yeah. it. No, no. Yeah, that's my point. Is It only crashed on Will's side. It did not crash on the server. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, but it's 2669 now. It's going to crash. No, I've deleted it. I changed the future. Okay. Um, movie spider ride. Will, I need you. What? I can't delete the sign without messing with your train at the entrance, so I think you should mess with it. If that makes sense. You, oh, you just. Oh, I can see the sign. It's deleted. There you go. How'd you see it? Uh, through the robot. On the back side. On the front side. Oh, just. It was barely. right between the earth flow and the thing. Got it. Okay. Just All barely. Because right. I could see it when I was doing the like visible, invisible, <laughs> invisible, but I couldn't actually interact with it. Gotcha. Oh, no, I did just get a network desync detected prompt. I got I'm that as soon as I about it. Wait, I can see all my coasters doing. Yeah, maybe we. I'm just... building an entire, an entirely different kind of coaster. Okay. Now I'm. I'm gonna see what people are upset about. That their family. A lot of people want to go home. On our ride. A lot of people want to get off. A lot of people, it's too crowded or hungry. Okay, so I'm just gonna go put some food everywhere. A lot of people, though, a lot of those people sound gross. Oh, yeah. What's the problem? How dare they? Look at that coaster go. This is the best thing I've ever made. Tommy, I can't daddy, believe it's not. Mommy. Kill it. Tommy, daddy, mommy. What's going on? Hmm? Oh, this coaster's so good. What? Well, what's Karen playing behind you? It kind of looks like Destiny, but I can't tell. Uh, she's playing uh, God of War. Yeah, I was about to say. Mm. What's third person? Oh, well, Destiny's Destiny. got third person. Oh, that's true. Yeah, at times. Bit, yeah. I don't believe in Destiny. <laughs> it's a myth. Okay. Right, Just like COVID. 5G. Guys, don't worry, we're still at zero. What if we faked our COVID death? Uh, that seems worse. Does it though? Man, people are pouring out of this park. Oh, someone just came in. Okay, I think we're doing better, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm running around putting in like little food court thingies. Because I, I think. Food court thingies. <gasps> the wet broke down. Okay. 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 There we go. Um, oh, stream mom's totally watching a YouTube right. horror channel, Crypt TV. You guys ever heard of that? Ooh. Aren't you kind of into horror movies, no. uh, Jakey Boy? I am, and I've heard of that, but I've not ever indulged in it. I wonder what it is. Stream Mom, could you describe it to us? Like, is it short horror flicks, or are they doing horror film coverage? Curious. So it doesn't find any of the videos to be scary. Oh, Look yeah, I'm not see. looking at the stream. Cool little bobsled coaster. Thanks. Thank the other one killed people. I was trying to get two that were going like in in mirror patterns, mm -hmm. and the second one for some reason was not safe. But this one seems fine. Oh, man. why isn't nobody weird. on my ride? It's open. Guys. The will is open. Hi, Maggie. Look at the theme park. Hi, Maggie. See, it's giant and enormous. 
Are you guys gonna you just gonna look me in the eye and drink all my water? <laughs> How dare you? Wow, she took a, oh, oh, took a I need pause to and kept going. This. She finished my water. Oh wow! wow. She, I thought she was about to. I think she dumps the rest did. of it on your head, but then you said oh, she she had she did a little bit, drunkened all of it. Somebody's gonna get spanked tonight. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> it's the only way I can go to sleep. <laughs> High quality short horror films every week. The videos are a couple are usually a couple minutes long each. That sounds oh that's mm. a, that's a great idea. That's one of those ideas that I would love to do, but I'm just way too lazy to execute on. Mm, yeah, I've had a couple ideas for like sure. Making love. Yeah, that's a great idea. Man, um, what were you saying, Jakey boy? Oh, I've had a couple ideas over the years for like short, like anthology type horror things, but it's time. Um, you guys ever? See, Who's got the time? You guys ever see the 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 those two movies, VHS and VHS two? I no. could not get through VHS. I just could not get into it. Oh, really? I just, I, so, like, some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of the little short skits, etc. But I just love the premise. I love it. What's the premise? It's basically like... It was a neat idea. Yeah, but... it's basically this overarching premise is that they, these guys break into this, like, abandoned house, and they start going through some of the stuff, and they find this VCR... And I can't remember if it's one tape or multiple tapes, but they find like this weird TV with a VCR attached to it. I think it's three. It's like I think three, three shorts. Yeah, but they yeah. they sit down and they start playing it, and the tapes each tape is like a horror short, but it's but each one is presented as like a real handheld thing. You know what I mean? Oh. And like VHS, uh, like VHS two had the director of the raid did one of the shorts. Um, it's a really, it's like, I'm not really into horror movies at all, but that was, I think, I thought it was a fantastic premise and the execution was um, good enough for me to enjoy it. Not, not to butt in on this conversation, but I'm whittling, uh, security guard and, and, uh, entertainers down to 10 each. And then I'm going to increase the other guys. Is that a smart thing? Yeah. Yeah. That should be fine. We're already up to 536 on park rating. I've been putting in more food. I just think we need more mechanics. Yeah, I think you're right with the number of number of rides we have. I think you're right. How many rides do we have? I wonder if we could just assign each ride. Oh, that would probably take forever. We've got a lot. 70. Oh, but our park rating's coming back up. Yeah. Yay. Oh, I have too many windows open. Oh, no. What is it? Is it escape? Oh, Just no. hammer escape a lot? I'm hitting backspace a bunch. Backspace. Oh, it is, my game is chugging. Chugging that game. We're all the same. Daddy, don't you know that you're to blame? You guys been writing any uh, quarantine songs? Uh, I have actually, but not not like about quarantine. Just trying to do more songwriting. Not for you. I'm trying to remember, I wrote one. Uh, oh, it's really good. I think it was called. Uh, no, I didn't have a name for it. But it went. Oh, that's a weird name. Wait, give me a sec. Give me a second here. I gotta remember it. Oh, Bated I, breath. I remember. Remember the first part of it. It's a fantastic song. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Entertaining content, folks. Entertaining content. Okay, I, I think the second part I just made up because I can't remember what it was originally, but it goes. Drinking, fighting, cussing, screwing. Don't you know that we've been doing all the things that God does said we can't? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of some of my other quarantine songs. <laughs> that was so good. It's I not know. bad. The second part, 
I forgot what it was originally, but the first part is so good. That drinking, fighting, cussing, screwing. Don't you know what we've been doing? Oh, boy. Um, uh, that was delicious. Uh, I can't remember any of my others. I almost feel like I should start recording them and putting them on Twitter. I mean, that's something oops. you should not do. I just, oops. Okay. You ain't saying oops a lot. <laughs> just, just searched porn for some reason. Um, Stream Mom says the look -see monster, which is one of the Crypt TV monsters. Uh, it's a monster that is supposed to kill those that refuse to let go of things emotionally, but sometimes he just decides to kill people in the middle of letting go or that have already let go regardless. Nice. That's... What is uh, this thing I'm realizing has been built over that's uh, 425 feet tall? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's an enormous, what looks to be a red giga coaster, and it's... I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> ascending to the stratosphere. It also, uh, what's the name of it? Um, let me mouse over it. Ah! Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not, I mean, it's accurately named. Yeah, because it circles the map. Mm. We should put something in the center of the map. A, ca <laughs> a counterpart. Uh. There are those volcanoes. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, my burning holes are already here. I can't find more like go farts. Am I right? Um, oh, that's over at my part of the park. A lot of people feel Why? Like What's wrong with sick. It? No, it was just somebody talking about it. Yay. The coaster finally came we gotta back. Put more, uh, I'm going to put more uh, seats down. Benches. Drinking, pooping, eating, shooting. Yep. <laughs> Cussing, fighting, smoking, screwing. Yeah, well, you're not oh, getting the lyrics cussing, right. Come drinking, on. Smoking. Drinking, shooting, eating, pooping. That's pretty good. Eating, poop. If we can find eight, then we can make two. Two. We can change the, the course and stuff. What is it? Yesterday, people are vomiting. It's, it's benches, right? That's the remedy. People are vomiting. No, the like a first aid hut. Oh, that's what helps. Oh, I always did trash cans. Oh, well, it's probably all three. Drinking, pooping, eating, shooting. No, wanna Maggie, kill my poop. What are some other songs I've come up with recently? Silence. Wow. <laughs> Maggie took nude photos of me today. Oh. <laughs> Are those going to be on the stream? Are those <laughs> going to be tasteful? She Okay, she's studying to be a nurse practitioner. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, basically, she had to do, like, a physical exam. And she, she had to operate on and you? She had to record the entire thing and then submit it to her class. And I had to be nice. the examinee. So her whole class is going to see your tasteful nudes? Yeah, it's just topless. But let's be honest, that's where the goods are on me. <laughs> oh, don't we all know? Yeah. I hope you're a pirate because I got a sunken chest. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, pretty good. That's good. What does that mean? I have a sunken chest. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just like a weird little deformity. You are deformed. We've all like... got them. That's true. Right. I don't have any hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm building these coasters with my feet. <laughs> Every stream's a foot stream. I'm gonna check on uh, check on Kyle. <laughs> Still Kyle's bad. dead. Give it up. He's dead. Uh -oh, I think Kyle's dead. He's dead. Oh, you know, that happened to us. Um, we were staying in um, an Airbnb in Florida last 4th of July, so about a year ago. And we were staying in a, um, a tiny home, which was on this guy's property. He was a carpenter, and he built a bunch of tiny homes in addition to his main trade. And it was actually really nice the one we stayed in. He, like, built it for a competition. So it was really nice. It had, like, granite countertops and, like, 
walnut flooring and all this stuff. It was fantastic. Anyways, <laughs> halfway through the first night, the power goes out. And we wake up, and the power's out, and it's, like, hot. It's, like, 80 degrees in the tiny home and rising. And we're, like, okay. And so I text the guy, and he's, like, I was, like, hey, the power went out. And he goes, oh, yeah, one of the power lines caught fire last night on our property. <laughs> so the, po the power company mm -hmm. is here to fix it. And I talked to him later, and he was like, yeah, it was nothing that we did or you did. It was just the power line caught fire. <laughs> like, right over... <laughs> it happens. Right over our uh, tiny home. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Okay. I'm trying to figure out... Shooting, shooting, flat, shooting. Still no power, Kyle said. Yeah, Florida is uh, lawless... Oh, Kevin James has a YouTube channel? The King of Queens? He is the King of Queens. I like, I'm a big fan of King of Queens. Are you, though? I can't say I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's oh, a good show. Still or died. Yeah, I killed him. Was he on the King of Queens? Yeah, he was the... He was the his wife's father. Oh, yeah, father-in-law. Father-in-law. Yeah. Arthur Spooner. You know, it's my my new guilty pleasure. And I mean, like, I do feel guilty about it. I hate it, but I can't stop looking at it. TikTok. And people? Uh, it's just... I don't know how to... About it last time. I don't know how to use apps. It's just like... It's just like really stupid stuff. And it's like perfect made for that format. So it's a lot of like the same repeated stuff and people doing small variations on it. And a lot of it's bad, but it's just good enough and just easy enough that you're just scrolling for like 40 minutes. It's just like real. It's 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 like it's like the the Big Bang Theory of apps. You know what I mean? Just real. Yeah. Ooh, that does theory. not make me want to use it. <laughs> yeah, it's I it's probably like Kyle mentioned that he watches compilations on YouTube. That's probably the way to go. Yeah, I'll probably discover it in like 15 years and then I'll laugh about it. <laughs> I just got an Instagram last year. Never had a Snapchat. Did you? Well, you did had Instagram before we went to Iceland. Or did you get it for Iceland? I got it for Iceland. Uh, oh, that guy. You know, not great. You guys suck. <laughs> Eating, shooting, Vladimir Putin. I want to jump around. I never ate a clown. <laughs> yeah, I was actually going to, like, before the, all the lockdowns and everything, my friend and I had, um, oh, I know exactly what time of the year it was because we said we were going to do a quid pro quo. Um, Wait, and, Jake, uh, please, PG-13 stream. <laughs> yeah, you no can't do that move. Um, no tongue. <laughs> His band needed a music video, and so I was going to shoot the music, shoot and edit the music video, so and then he was going to help me record, um, uh, like a six six track acoustic album. And so we did the music video, and then we were going to rehearse to prep for the album, and then the quarantine happened. Oh, uh, I've so still no album. Like if I had any social skills and or motivation. I would totally go to local bands and be like, hey, I need practice, and you guys deserve a music video. Let me shoot your music video for free. You know? Because that, like, mm. that feels like that's an easy way to get your get your skills going and to be, like, creative in a way. But uh, It was the first thing that got shot on the new uh, C100. Yeah. yeah. But it looks like a terrorist hostage video. It was very dark. Yes! Oh, I've made plenty of those. We're talking about music videos, Will, by the way. Oh. oh we'll, we'll <laughs> Sorry. I was half paying attention. It's okay. This is live. They can't use it as a... Uh... You know what's so it's inadmissible? Stupid. Twitch. Every one of these streams, Twitch says, we've muted the audio of the song you're using it for the waiting room, which is freaking... Is it tight? Tchaikovsky? Is that who it is? Yeah, I can't think of his did name. Did you get the public domain version of it? Yes, I have the YouTube audio library version. Oh. Twitch probably don't care. 
Yeah, but it's still the public domain yeah, version. Yeah, but in in their defense, you could have picked a better song for the pre-stream. Yeah, I could have, <laughs> but I was lazy. And Tchaikovsky. Hey, I spent all of my talent on that beautiful logo. It was a good logo. I think good logo. this is not information that any of our viewers will appreciate, but I think Tchaikovsky was the one who had a phobia that if he didn't have a hand on his head while he was conducting, his head would fall off. And so he had the baton in one hand, and he always had one hand holding his head on, holding his hand on his head. That's pretty cool. Um, similar to that, whenever I look over the edge of something high up, I hold my glasses like this. Mm. Oh, because you're afraid it's going to fall. Because I'm terrified they're going to fall. I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights. Any y'all afraid of heights? Um, it depends on the situation. It depends on the height. how confident am I in the structure that I'm standing on is really what it comes down I to. I think I think I used to be like that, but now I'm just straight terrified of heights pretty much all the time. I'm uh, I'm terrified of heights above like 30, 40 feet. Um, because like I can climb trees, no problem. Because I have a friend who's scared of heights and can't climb trees. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I grew up climbing trees, so I, I, oh, I'm fine oh, with that. Really? Oh, oh, really? Sorry, that just came off as, like, the it most really arrogant did. statement in the world. I grew up oh, climbing Riley. trees. Um, I did. What is am I, I supposed to say? I grew up riding what a bougie trees. bougie lifestyle. Yeah. Did. Well, not all of us could afford had trees, trees growing up, okay? <laughs> or trees, they're free! I couldn't afford them, Will! Uh, I lived in a desert! <laughs> we climbed the cactus. Streamo says <laughs> Tony Stark built this in a cave. Streamo says he used to have an extreme Tony fear. Tony Stark climbed a tree in the cave. He used to have an extreme fear of heights and blades, and I read that as only when they're together is he afraid of them. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't throw that knife. Ow, so high up over that bit no. of blades. No. One or the other, I can stand. But not uh, the same. Yeah, Stream Mom, I think I'm the opposite, where I didn't get over them, they just got worse. What? My fear of Two? heights and plates. Heights and plates and heights and plates. My fear of abandonment. And you don't know it ain't gonna hurt him. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> we should do a stream where we make a song. <laughs> Daddy don't know what ain't gonna hurt him. But he's gonna die anyway. I, mean, I, had, I can't remember if I put it in the in the extra life uh 2020 planning document mm -hmm. um but i should extra life occur at a time in which we can all actually be together mm -hmm. i think i had pitched somewhere in that document that as inner as an interstitial between like while well, you guys are setting up for the next segment like if you have to change swap gear or something that we would have a corner with a dedicated camera where one of us could do like a bit either like a song oh, or yeah. like like close-up magic or, or something where there's just like an activity corner yeah. to fill the time while like you're setting up your pedals I'm trying to think we we only had a maybe like two or three breaks where we had to actually cut away to something but that was part mm -hmm. of that was we over planned so we could totally mm -hmm. yeah. plan for more deliberate breaks but yeah that stream I was thinking about that today that stream went really well I think for now we plan to do it. It's typically what first week of November, something like that. We can... Nobody's thinking about rimming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I am. Wait, why is my intensity rating ultra extreme now? Because your much. your cars drop from 500 feet in the air. Right? It's 413, you baby. I'm rounding up. All right, I'm 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 making an executive decision. I'm gonna build some pathways to each of the islands from the start it's like tentatively kyle might be humping on soon yeah so kyle just let me know when you're good good and i'll uh add you to the oh, thank the skyperoni chatteroni baby baby boy hey and that's the stream folks thank you <laughs> for watching we are so let's start the out start start the outro start the oh wait outro. teleprompters down teleprompters down guys ah uh, stretch, 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 stretch stretch you ever that was one of my favorite, not to talk about another streamer, but one of my favorite Giant Bomb moments is when they start one of their UPF shows and Jeff pretends that the 
fake teleprompter isn't working. So he keeps going like, hey guys, the teleprompter isn't on. <laughs> uh, hey, everyone. Like, doesn't know how to. It's very funny. Very, very funny. I'm sorry. I have, I have operated teleprompter a couple times, but I've never, um, like, used it. I've only been behind the camera when a prompter's in use. I've used it once. <laughs> and it was kind of Wow. That's, that's accurate. I haven't been quoted in a while. Everyone forgets. <laughs> Everyone forgets. They won't forget once we have merch and we're immortalizing these expressions on a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, like, I hate women. That's just one of Ian's best <laughs> phrases. Wait, did I say that or did you say that? Oh, you said it, you, you feminist butt. Icon. I think please. that's the opposite. That's the correct term. Oh, icon, sorry. Thank you. He's Elton John. I don't know that Elton John is a feminist icon. Now that we, now that we mentioned. Well, then you've been lied to as an adult. Oh, thank you to whoever put benches on this little uh, terrace I built on this island. Oh, that was me. I'm, I'm on a. Thank you. Like a fix things terrace. There's so much vomit there, Jake. Yeah, you know the staff have unionized and they're not doing their job. The moops. Oh no! Wow, this is a wild giga coaster that you've constructed. I like how he saw oh, my well, idea and then just decided to do the exact same thing. Wait, did you change it? Wait, I did not. But same bigger. Thing. He did change it, so it's not obstructing oh, yeah. my view as much. Yeah, I have my blue, yeah, my blue giga coaster around the, the center island, and then you were just like, "I'm gonna yeah. copy that idea." And I'm gonna name I it something sassy. I mean, no. Oh, dang it, Stream Mom did say it was me. It's me. I said that quote. <laughs> I'm the bad I'm guy. the Boba Fett. Hey. I'm Boba Fett. I'm Boba Fett. No! Boba Fett. I'm Boba Where? Fett. Hi. I'm Rumble Skin. Hello, I'm Boba Fett. And this is the Masterpiece Theater. Bilbo Fett. Uh, Stream Mom, uh, Ian and I are working on a secret project, which led me to watch our very first stream, oh, uh, the Forza Horizon one. And I was, I know we've talked about this, but that is the one that you appeared on. And I um, found, I clipped uh, a moment from that of us first finding you it was very adorable. It is adorable also the beginning of that stream was an absolute crap shoot <laughs> oh that's also the one where like my audio was really bad yeah it was your audio was awful and mine was like surprisingly really good yeah and i don't know if you remember but the reason why it was awful was somehow my audio setting for my microphone got changed at the system level so instead of being like 44 1 it was like eight <laughs> it was real low But uh, yeah, I, I, we were we've been clipping a bunch of stuff from streams. It's really weird to go back and watch some of that stuff. We got a lot of good content though. But it's also like I've forgotten it, so I'm actually watching it. Is the other issue? And then I had a horrible realization of that someday my children might watch this. Mmm, delicious. Real, oh, and they're not gonna watch this section. Uh, creepy Uncle Jake just said, mmm, delicious at them. <laughs> Hi! I'm Uncle Jake. Don't tell Kyle the password. Don't tell Kyle the password. It's going to offend him. Oh. The password is... Didn't I put it in the subpixel? I don't know Maybe. if you did. Oh, okay. I'll put it in the Discord, baby boy. I just say, what's the password? No. <laughs> okay, I'm wow. going to add you to the Skypers Pipers. Daddy's Wipers. Yeah, stream around. In the, in the video, you were like, yeah, I discovered you guys a couple months ago. And uh, decided to check out the stream. It was very nice. Terrible stream. Great stream. Come on. Uh, it's good stuff. Oh yeah, that's what you said. You found us from one, from one of our ads. That's oh, all. Yeah. Big thing. A lot of people didn't like those. Too bad. Yeah, people they really. Were, they were always very confused by it. Like, why is this? Why uh, am I seeing this as an ad? It's because of hey. your viewing habits, buddy. Why man? is this? Uh, 
Okay, I know Kyle's in the what? game now. I don't remember which was stream one. Kyle. How can I join the call? I click. Oh. Click join. Yeah, I think it's it's calling you. Oh. Okay, let me let me let me call you again. Do 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 do. Deep down, I like to eat farts. Hmm. Sounds delicious. Sounds intriguing. Okay, hold on a second. Where? I can't remember which of these. Not spinning wild mouse. Uh, oh, it's mini roller coaster that I had a custom design in called was it this one no was one of these is it the junior roller coaster no I just had a great idea classic okay, mean see what? if i can get is kyle, kyle still not in here where is this ride I keep oh adding i keep dog that. Build that. there he is him. There we go. Okay, let me fix your Sorry. video. Oh, your video is good. Oh, did you use the the nobody's here template that I made? Oh, you mean the images? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, whoops! I made this roller coaster impossible. An impossible roller coaster. <laughs> Impossa coaster. Did you call me? So any idea what happened to the power or is it just a mystery? It's it's a mystery so far. We had some high winds a couple days ago, but I mean, it's been fine. We also had a I think it was a 900 acre brush fire in South Jersey, uh, which was funny. But again, that was 2 days ago. So it had to have been it had to have been some sort of a car crash or somebody did something stupid and snipped a power line. But uh, yeah, it just it was like an hour and some change, so not that bad as far as South Jersey power outages go. Well, True welcome, that. welcome. I don't think we touched your island too much. I just put some food and that's, stuff. That's I mean I that's, I just that's deleted kind of everything. Cool. I tried to I tried to put a decent amount of food in bathrooms and I have like an information center and stuff, but can always use yeah, more. Yeah, I was just checking why why our uh, rating dropped, and but our rating's back up to nine fifty seven. We're getting people. Oh uh, yeah. Working. Okay. Well, our rating dropped to zero. We think because some people actually died on a couple of these coasters. Oh, but those coasters was, have been deleted. <laughs> I was watching the stream and you were like, um, "No, people are leaving," and I was I was very concerned. I thought maybe it was something on my island, and I was like, I, "I'm not there to fix it," but uh, <laughs> luckily, it wasn't my fault. I didn't know if your power outage had affected uh, your uh, the internet on your phone. Yeah, it tends to do that. No, it was um, surprisingly I could watch uh, the stream with no interruptions and no problems. So it was it was pretty pretty nice test of Verizon's wireless network. Mm. Well, that's good. Please please sponsor us, Verizon. Or Hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm Verizon. I gotta do something about this desert I have in the middle of my. In the middle of your desert. Yeah. This desert in the middle of my <laughs> desert. Jake, you um. Is your island supposed to represent the little like trademark symbol, on our logo? Uh, no, it was not intentionally placed as such. I just <laughs> uh. Wanted I needed some land because the my coasters these the. The water coaster there on that island was one that I built this week that I wanted to drop in, and it needed some land for the station. Yeah. So I built the island, and then I built the other stuff around it. Gotcha. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. I don't believe you. Okay. See it. Now that Ian's gone. Thank God. <laughs> I'm going to...
create a motion simulator. Oh, that's why there's a big desert there, because I deleted the roller coaster last time. Oh, Whoops. right. Okay, so what did we, what did, let's, what topics did we cover that Kyle now needs to, to, uh, what games God. have you been playing, what movies and TV have you been watching, uh, uh dealing with COVID? <laughs> games have been Animal Crossing, um, I'm still trying to get paths, I don't know, I just keep planting flowers, I, I have not stopped planting flowers for like three days and it's still only giving me a, a two star rating, so I don't know what else to do. Um, pick, pick your weeds. Oh, they're all picked. I pick them every day. I we sure, had to put a whole too many bunch items of the stuff. But we we had to put a whole bunch of stuff on the ground to get our rating. Oh, oh really? like actual furniture out on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I ended up doing. Hmm. I guess I could try that. Oh, so I, I think, guess. I think you need. I think there is a minimum number of people on your island. I think it's like six you need or something. Yeah, I have six or seven. Um, residents so i don't mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like i'm i feel like i'm like almost there yeah but maybe, maybe after today it'll it'll look different um as far as what, what was the other one tv shows tvs and movies you've been watching movies uh i watched the hunt for the wilder people by oh, Ray Taika, oh yeah it's like a ytt it's good it very good it was it was definitely like you could tell it was his first bigger movie like he'd done a bunch of indie mm -hmm. stuff and it was it was uh, i'm sure a story that was really personal to him he adapted it and everything and it was good but i had uh i'd heard really good things about it and then my dad saw it and he was like oh it was like the funniest movie we've ever seen it was like so funny this is not how my dad sounds um it's <laughs> exactly what he sounds yeah <laughs> he was oh so funny um <laughs> Yeah, good, good, funny movie. Yeah, go see it. No, he was he was like, yeah, we laughed like the entire time, and it was just it was really really funny, and you know we were cracking up hysterical. So I was expecting it to be this out and out comedy, and I watched it, and I was like, it was funny, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like on the floor. Uh, so yeah. I think my my expectations as far as that was concerned were a little misled, uh, thanks to my my father. Got it. My, wow. my father will hear about Dads, this. Dad, am I right? <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, but I overall I really liked it, and uh, I think the kid who's in that was in Deadpool, Deadpool. two or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. was he was really good, and Sam Neill is you know, it's hard to beat. Oh, yeah. Always Neal. great. Yeah, but, he's older uh, now. He's probably pretty easy to beat. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's he's he had a pretty awesome beard. It was it was good competition. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I see? Oh, I just saw the new trailer for tenet which is i still don't understand what's going on it's oh it's just like that nolan checklist <laughs> <laughs> well okay and i i tweeted this out and I, I and the more i look at it the more i'm i'm convinced he's inserting himself more and more into his movies like like robert pattinson's character is christopher nolan in his own script. Well, I guess it and, does feel he like, does have that kind of vibe. He really looks like Christopher Nolan in this movie, like the way his hair is and stuff. Yeah. And just the way he the way his accent is his like affect. Um, and I'm just more and more convinced Nolan's like, you know what? I'm just going to go full meta. And uh, my next movie, I'm going to be the main character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeez. But it looks really good. And I love John David Washington. So he was uh, super good in Black Klansman. If you guys haven't seen it. Oh, I still need to see that. It's so good. I really am not a huge Spike Lee fan. And I really liked that movie. Oh, his um, his new trailer. The teaser came out a couple days. No, the trailer came out. I think the it's Five Bloods. Yeah, the, the Five, five Bloods. Bloods. Yeah, that looks I'm, I'm excited for that because I, I read a book a year or two ago and it was a bunch of accounts of African-Americans from the Vietnam War. And it was just really good because a lot of them you know they fight in the war they they're kind of you know looked down upon in the war even though they're doing these fantastic things they come home mm. they're looked down upon society for being black and being vietnam war veterans and you know some of them join the black panthers some of them try to reform etc so it was it was a really good book and i the five bloods kind of looks like it's in that vein in a way even though it's not mm. based on a true story are you just drinking from a bottle of wine. Yeah, I got I got a little bit left, and it's like, why why put a glass? You know, isn't this the oh, one? Oh boy! Oh no, this was some cooking 
This is wine we got for cooking yeah, like three no, years ago. Yeah, Deep Eddy is the stuff we drink. It's good. Deep Eddy! <laughs> oh, my friend, uh, my friend Jimmy's watching the stream. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, an engineer, you've been on oh. a... You're some of our, uh... Yeah. Um... He was at the table read, right? Why can't I think of... Jimmy was, uh... One of the... Mario Maker. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Right? Am I crazy? I think you're right. I might yes. be crazy. Am I crazy? That's... This Saturday, we're doing Mar more Mar Mario Maker. Mar Mar Mario. Mar Mar Mario. Mar Mario Maker. That's another song I made. It's a me, a Mario. 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 For Super Mario <laughs> Maker. Oh, man. This is good stuff. Copyright strike. Okay. <laughs> um... Immediately. Okay, we're doing I good, but also sucking so much. I feel like we need to get our okay. What? How many did we start this stream with? What, didn't we start the stream with like twenty three hundred guests, and now we're up to? It was like twenty six hundred. We got up to like twenty six or twenty seven hundred, and we lost a lot when they died. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Also, three hundred yeah. people are stuck on my other coaster. Oh, because your line's too long. No, there's three hundred people on that. That one that circles my island, the lazy river. There's no way. I'm sorry, there's only 212 on it right now. It's pretty crazy. Though. Yeah, that's. <laughs> they all want to get off it. Too. Wow. Honestly, oh yeah, how yeah, you may have to fix that just because that's a lot of negative thoughts. Hey, Kyle, can you read off the top thought right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, is Hold it on. still the same thing? <laughs> yep. Thoughts. It is. I want to go home. As far as I can see, right? No, so, so click on uh, guests <laughs> and then click on the show summarized list of guests the tab like, at the top. The, the crowd oh. tab. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get off. I'm so wet. <laughs> Gross, Kyle. <laughs> you have all that time. And then, and then below it is this park is really clean and tidy. <laughs> um, it's because they're not getting off. An engineer, aka Jimmy's, got a good question. In a way, he says, "I never made anything this advanced in Roller Coaster Tycoon." So the question is, what is the most advanced thing you guys have built? Let's start with Jake because he's going to have the best answer. <laughs> In oh wait so roller coaster tycoon or real world tycoon you've built a theme park in real world yeah no I mean it, it, the question what's the most advanced thing you built in roller coaster in tycoon. roller coaster tycoon yeah okay in roller coaster tycoon it honestly is probably something that's in this park oh, um, really because this is kind of the culmination of all the building techniques of mm -hmm. my whole life yeah. um. Because oh. I've, I've built, like, pretty long and crazy um, coasters that get up to, like, you know, incredible Gs that will kill anybody who goes on them. But it's not rides that are, like, part of a successful park because nobody wants to oh, go on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah, there's a couple. <sighs> this impulse coaster I built over here that's, like, airplanes that just keeps, like, ascending and diving and is actually pretty cool because yeah. it's got a lot of G's, but it's got good like excitement and intensity, so people are actually going on it. Yeah, that looks good. Um, what about you, Kyle? What's what's your proudest moment in Roller Coaster Tycoon? So I, we kind of grew up playing Sim City rather than Roller Coaster Tycoon, and the only other one I played seriously was. Uh, there was a sim theme park video game mm -hmm. that would constantly crash yeah, on us. Um, Thank oh, you. I think you're talking to me. Got him. Will, uh, uh, there's a bug. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Thank I'm you. Back. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, uh, we we would we would play that a lot. So I didn't really get around too much with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but sim theme park, it was very similar, but you couldn't build as, like, you couldn't build something this big. And it was not customizable at all, and mm -hmm. it looked terrible. Um, but I mean, you know, we we would do. I I got more into SimCity than roller coaster stuff, so that's that's all I can really say. This is probably the most complicated thing I've worked on. But yeah, I'm trying to. It's think not of, saying much. 
I'm trying to think of something that I've done well. I think the problem is it's been so long since I played the game. But um, I, this is kind of a cop-out answer. I always love, I've done it two or three times on this map, but I always love when I build a roller coaster and then I mm. come back through with a different ride, usually a different roller coaster, and I punch through like a loop or I punch through part of the roller coaster. So I basically end up with like multiple rides nested. I love doing yeah. that. Mm. I just love it when I do that right. Uh, what about you, Will? What is your proudest accomplishment or your most advanced thing that you've done in Roller Coaster Tycoon? Um, probably, I, I had a similar answer to you as building like tandem rides that like go at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like some complicated stuff like that. I remember I built one that like went into a mountain and stuff. Like in my memory, it was incredible, but it probably actually wasn't. It probably nobody wrote it because it was too intense. But my other biggest accomplishment is probably this sweet awesome complex maze i just built on my island uh i don't know if you want to go take a look at it but probably oh, my biggest i want to see how long it takes people to to finish it um if you want to know what it was like to do this it was a nightmare my hand hurts because you have to carve out every single space oh and you have to do it uh, both ways because if you only do it one way it creates uh, like a tunnel yeah. so stream yeah. mom hot tip says you need to make your rides barely functional that way they won't die but their experience is still terrifying and horrible accurate that's good stuff that's the Disney way <laughs> the Disney way I'm gonna look up some gaming news because I feel like there's stuff that I wanted to talk about but I can't remember Oh, I, I had something I wrote down from a while ago mm -hmm. that I remembered today. Um, when I was watching those uh, Dead Space movies, in Aftermath, there's one of the characters is like supposed to be super smart, so he's playing video games, of course. Mm -hmm. And he's literally playing uh, Dante's Inferno, like the mobile da Dante's wow. Inferno game, on like a fake futuristic handheld. Wow. And it was very funny to me. Um, That's funny. It just reminds me of that show. I can't remember what it was. I've seen the memes of it before where someone is texting, but on the screen of the phone, it's like a flip phone from the mid 2000s. On the screen is mobile Excel. Like, <laughs> like they're just typing into one of the Excel. Oh, little yes. Yeah, I know Excel what you're talking things. about. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good oh, stuff. Oh, I was watch at, I was doing laundry. Uh, at Karen's parents' house, and her sister is watching that show, How to Get Away with Murder. Mm -hmm. And, like, there's just this scene, and the guy goes and picks up. First of all, he had a house phone, which nobody has house phones anymore. But he went and picked it up, and he obviously picks, like, clearly picks up the phone upside down and then answers it and does the whole scene. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, that was so obvious, but there's no way they didn't catch it until edit. And they're yeah. like, crap. Oh, huh. There's like no one at my island, I just realized. Like very few people. Well, yeah. <laughs> where is, where is well, it? Well, it looks like... I did one time to connect to that. Very weird. It looks like a lot of your rides are... Oh, the spider ride just reopened. I yeah, I've got... Think one I should have handyman, handyman going into if stuff. If you want to uh, do another... Handyman. If you want to do a connection path from Jake's part of the northern middle island to your northern island that may help okay well also most yeah, well, of i've got a lot of people part. i've got a lot of people up north it looks like but well not even that many i don't know my i have like the least amount of stuff so don't worry about it i'm not helping much We're lining up for this ride it's incredible um did you hear about i Bethesda know adding... kyle just got here but yes Seem like we're at an appropriate point to begin. No. Not begin wrap up, but begin no. doing final preps. No. <laughs> Why do you, do you gotta leave? <laughs> no, I don't need to leave. It's just I'm feeling good. Going you guys for an hour I mean, and forty minutes. Yeah. That I'm sounds okay. like you want to leave, Jake. You guys okay? I can do whatever you want, but for the um. Guys, it's just so the alarming how long the last one was. 
Yeah, the last one was very long. It was like Karen was upset. Plus hours. I came to really. <laughs> she was like, "You can't play that late." Uh, wow. It's also because oh, I no, think we were a little game. raucous last time. Mine train coaster. Uh, okay, well, how about we yes, plan someone in the maze. eleven o'clock? Sure. I'm down. Whatever you want, Ian. I'm glad we finally realize who's running this place. <laughs> it's Nayan. Oh, that's. <laughs> I was gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you got a little far there, didn't you? Oh. Wow. <laughs> no. Um. That's, that's a joke only four of us understand. But to everyone else, it sounded extremely horrible. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Stream Mom's talking about Doom Eternal and the Denuvo anti-cheat. Did you guys hear about that? I yes, did I hear did. about that. I have no knowledge of it because I wouldn't have played it on PC anyway. I'm so sure you would have if you could have. Oh, if I could have. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> so I'm to bring you guys plebeian. up to speed... Basically, uh, Doom Eternal, they, they released a patch that added Denuvo anti-cheat. And the thing about Denuvo anti-cheat is in order for it to work, it gets kernel access to your computer. So it slows it down. Mm. Yeah, it slows it down. It's kind of a security issue. Um, they added it after the game was launched. So they recognize the backlash and they're now going to remove it. So uh, pretty interesting. It's, thing... it's tough, you know, to protect against piracy. I, I get that, but there have been so many problems with Denuvo over the years. Like, it, it's yeah. not like, as far as I know, it's not like it's been improved upon that greatly. Like, I'm sure it, it works as advertised, but not without a ton of caveats to your game. And like, yeah. there's probably a list out there somewhere of just companies that have had Denuvo at launch and then rescinded that, like, almost as you know as as soon as bethesda has with with doom eternal so i don't know i feel like there's got to be a better solution or somebody needs to do something about denuvo in general yeah i agree um i think i think it's easy to pitch it to devs you 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 post all these games you know if games have denuvo it it typically takes like 30 plus days for them to get cracked which is huge if you're a developer so it's an easy purchase or an easy sale to a developer in a way but it's way too invasive for what it is yeah you know okay yeah i'm i'm all for protecting against piracy but like you know at what cost, at what cost? leave it to the navy <laughs> <laughs> that was funny jake thanks you guys ever thought about doing, um, Will, Will you talked the about Navy. this. I don't, I don't think you ever actually went through with it, doing a uh, an open mic night, doing like a stand-up bit. Yeah, my my old roommates really wanted me to. But I, I don't think, like, I can write funny material. I just, I think I'm better, like, in the moment witty comic. Not mm -hmm. same. Like, that's the exact thing I told a couple of coworkers of mine who, um, told me the same thing they said i should go to an open mic and i'm like i don't know <laughs> i'm like off the cuff and even at that it's only i'm only hitting like 20 percent yeah and i think a lot of it is like i'm not a big stand-up fan because it feels like stand-up has gotten kind of stale like everybody kind of sounds the same and uh jerry seinfeld yeah, sounds I don't the same way he like did a, 20 years i don't ago. have like a shtick yeah so i i would have to like come up with a crazy drastic routine that is very different from other people in order for me to feel comfortable not necessarily comfortable but in order to feel like I, it's it's worthwhile for me to do it and i feel you like that's feel that, uncomfortable and that's your bit yeah and that that's, that's a huge a gamble bit. it's not like i'm going up on stage and telling jokes it's like i'm going up on stage and trying something that nobody's ever tried before and that makes it even more daunting in a way strip comedy Yes, of course. Mandatory. <laughs> Every time they don't laugh, you lose an item. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good idea. So at, at some point, they either have to laugh because they don't want to see you naked. Yeah. Or, or they never laugh. Or they and then do want to see to you win naked. Win. Mm -hmm. I want to see no one. 
Thank you. Nice. Network desync on my end. Oh, who built this clockwork kingdom over here? I think that's William Clockwork. Yeah, that's... Well, is that yours? Which one? This cog sphinx oh, area? Yeah. Saturn yeah, V? The oh. Philo kingdom. Phylum. <laughs> you like my maze? There's a lot of people in it. <laughs> it's just it's a <laughs> I didn't know I'm you, you do that with a hedge maze. That's actually pretty clever. I, I had to get rid of it. You have to get rid of every single square manually. Yeah. Oh, twice. Stream Mom. It's awful. Stream Mom says Doom Eternal was cracked on day one because Bethesda themselves accidentally released the game without any piracy protection like Denuvo. So then they... Classic. It's like, why add it in after the fact if your game's already been cracked? You know? It's so yeah. Well, that's... Uh, I do know that the, the that was why that whole i don't know if it was why the whole controversy with the soundtrack started but people had like high def game rips of the audio files within hours of the game being oh up. yeah uh, that's and so that's yeah. where people were able to see the waveforms and be like what's up with that <laughs> um and then he brings up uh, valorant the uh riot games fps that's coming out so they have i i don't know if they have denuvo but they have an anti-cheat system that like has to run on system startup has to be running all the time even when you're not running the game and gives an extreme level of access to the software which is insane didn't someone come up they made a program that reinstalls it when you launch the game and uninstalls it when you <laughs> exit the game that's good no that's classic that's good stuff um there's uh you guys anybody think about trying out Valorant? I think the release date was announced for June second. Um it's kind of a CSGO. Oh, I just have never watch. really Yeah. Yeah, I I just can't for whatever reason that kind of like hero based shooter or hero based anything, like MOBAs I've never really gotten into. I don't know Overwatch why. Overwatch is real good though. Because they're bad. It's really polished. I love Overwatch. Yeah. It's yeah. so polished. It feels so good. It's good. Yeah. Um, just don't want to disappoint anybody. But I, I, I'm not that interested in Valorant because it seems like they're taking it in like a very competitive direction. And if there's one thing I hate about shooters, it's the competitive aspect of them in terms of like ranked play. Mm. Because then people just take it way too seriously. And you get too invested in it and then you get frustrated. When in reality, I just want to shoot people in the face. You know, that's all I want to do. Oh man, I love doing that. Speaking of which, um, did we're gonna be playing some more Warzone tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, Kyle, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but have you thought about hosting? Yes, I can host. Perfect. Huzzah, I'm excited right to play now. some. As long as the power doesn't go out again. That, that'd be <laughs> yeah, funny, I, hopefully, no one sure. else crashes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ex uh, yeah, no, I, I will be happy to host. Awesome. I'm excited to play some more. I've got it on my mind. Yeah, yeah me same. too. I played played a couple rounds today, and it was uh, it's pretty good. I got, I, I'm got i doing better in solos. I got like seven kills today in solos by myself. So I'm feeling feeling a little bit more solid and uh, work, just working on my loadouts. You is, know? That, um, is that solo everybody's going in solo, or is it solo you get queued up with randoms? I mean, you get teamed up with randoms. You just get queued up with... Oh, no, no. Um, so you can, on any of the, like, the duos or mm -hmm. quads or trios, you can always request to be queued up with random people. Um, and for solos, it's just everyone is random, oh, obviously. Um, there was a weird thing where if you were already in a party with someone, like you were playing quads, you could... <laughs> I had it happen a couple times. You could click solos, and it would just bring your entire squad in with you. Oh, So wow. you could be running a four-man squad in solos. I'm not wow. sure if they patched that, but it was really funny. That's bonkers. Um, I know something I need to do is... Uh, we were, like, doing loadout drops the other day, and I went up to one of them, but the problem was I had not touched my loadout, so I just had generic stuff. So I need to go in and set up my loadouts. Yeah, I need to do that. So we can actually use yeah, them. Yeah, it's... It's uh, it's way easier to to just work on like one loadout or one gun and get it to a decent, uh, you know, level with the attachments and stuff, and then you can really sort of start to hone in on what you know what kind of weapon uh, you think you're best at. Yeah. So I I I started with the kilo, 
I really like the Kilo and got that like almost all the way leveled up, and now I'm switching to the M4, I think, and I'm trying to get that up. So that's what I'll be working on tomorrow. Um, Will, I think I think you need to, to fix your ride. It's still the number one complaint. Which one? <laughs> all of them. Yeah, all of them. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, which ride are you talking about? Are you going to make me say it? I, honestly, I don't know what ride you're talking about. Oh, I'm so wet. Oh, you're talking about comma, I'm so wet, period. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I think you may just have to, like, cut it in half or something. Or make, or, yeah, you or know do what? some hills. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll change that now. It's still a long ride. The ride time is 15 minutes, 58 seconds. 172 people are complaining. I want to get off this ride. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> they paid so. for it. No, they don't. It's free park. It's not my fault. Oh, I don't care. They chose to go on it. <gasps> Stream Mom says you can. The only thing he knows about Warzone is that you can throw rocks at mines in the gulag and blow them to blow them up to kill players. Yeah. Fighting. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I will say that was the best part about playing with people you knew and on mic is that when multiple of us were in the gulag, you could tell them where the other people yeah. were. Yeah. I went 3-0 in the gulag, which I was not expecting at all. I expected to die every time. It's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, we have 36 restrooms in the park. Oh, man. My super coasters got a bunch of people in line. <laughs> oh man. I've been queuing for rimming for <laughs> ages. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I want to get off rimming. So many people <laughs> waiting for formula seconds. Cut down the number of laps. You know what I should have done? I'm going to close this. Where is Sorry, this? everybody. Daddy tired. Mm. Um, you know what I have been thinking about it. is you guys done anything um, useful or productive with your COVID quarantine time no. outside of what you would not, not normally be doing? Um, I weeded the yard. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I I did like a deep clean of my my room and everything that I own, so I threw out a bunch of crap. That's good. And then. That was like two weeks into quarantine, and now I'm like slowly building back up to where I was. Uh, what about you, William? Uh, what what was the question? What was the query? Have you been doing anything with your quarantine time, you know, improving a hobby, learning something new, doing something productive that you would not normally be doing? Uh, I've been reading a lot more. Um, but actually, this is kind of a twist on this. I realized in my quarantine that I have, excuse me, I burped right there, that I have barely listened to music since the quarantine started. Oh. Because I've been so behind on podcasts that when I would normally listen to music, I'm listening to podcasts. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And then any music, music I listen to, it's if I'm in the car with Karen. So, like, I, I might actually try to listen to more music now because it feels weird now that I've thought about that, that I haven't listened to any. Um, I think I. But yeah, that's a big thing. I I think I like gave up on music a couple years ago, and I I don't mean that in like a like assertive way. It's just I realized ninety five percent of my listening time was going to be podcasts, so I just mm -hmm. kind of accepted that. So it's just five percent music now, and it's basically just short car rides or when I don't explicitly have a podcast to listen to for a car ride, I'll I'll listen to music. Yeah, but it's yeah. This may be niche um but i similarly to not listening to music in the car but yes listening and and singing along to music in the car mm -hmm. i realized i have not been doing any of that and i was in the car recently singing along with something and realizing that i've lost a little bit of my range because i haven't been mm. singing as much. Oh, so wow. i need to gotta work my voice more. Gotta, get, gotta get it cut gotta get them snipped 
Jake, you have range? I You cut out for the last oh. part of that joke. I do. <laughs> Gotta get him snipped. Depth and range. Gotta cut out for the last part of that mm. snipped joke. Gotta get him snipped. Yeah, yeah I did. Snipped yeah. like a cat. Um, <laughs> on my end, the things that I've improved, uh, reading more, also more TV shows and movies, I think I've made a concerted effort. Before, I was probably watching one movie every three weeks. <gasps> like just we got the award for the park with the best water ride oh, wow screw you um screw you wet and wild um so oh that doesn't exist anymore the thing lately that i've been doing really focusing on with my quarantine time is perfecting the egg salad sandwich um Ooh, Ooh. that sounds cool rose I love eggs let me tell you what it is okay so it's one egg it's mayonnaise salt pepper uh, relish and then chick-fil-a sauce which is like a tangy honey mustard sauce into the egg mixture and then on the bread you toast the bread and then one side you you put mayonnaise the other side you put more chick-fil-a sauce and then you put a slice of cheese either munster or gouda that's what i've been experimenting with lately and then you put the egg mixture on top onto the bread on top of the cheese and then you also top it off with some pickles some like nice pickles either dill bread and butter whatever you want <laughs> then you put it together and eat it. It's pretty good. It's not perfected yet, but it's pretty damn good. So I've been like tweaking that recipe every couple days when I have an egg salad sandwich, and it's it's pretty fantastic. I gotta say, it's the one thing I'm gonna come out of COVID with. Well, two things. I'm gonna come out of it with COVID <laughs> and a perfect egg salad sandwich. That was one of us gets COVID. We agreed that we all have to get. Yeah, that's right. And we have to do a YouTube video. Oh, yeah, Kyle, you missed that. We made a pact. Mm -hmm. A pact? If one of us dies from COVID, we all have to die from COVID. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We also have to make a video about it. It's real sappy. Just try and get some views off of it. Yeah. And, and you have get to get it taken family. down by YouTube because it's in poor taste. Aren't all our videos in poor taste? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so, folks, we got four minutes left. So let's start the show and tell. Let's kick it off with, uh, I'm just going to go top to bottom on the stream. So that's myself. I plopped down these monster trucks. God, they look good. Cool little monster trucks. I also plopped down, where did I put it? Oh, those do look good. Plopped down Jaws here. This was actually a pre-build that I did outside of the stream. Whee. Um, I, I've just been kind of tending around doing maintenance stuff, paths, uh, food courts. I did build this little water coaster. I built some pathways. Um, that's mostly what I've been doing. Jake, I'm looking at the northern end of this middle island. You got a lot going on here. Mm. What do you, what mm -hmm. do you, what do you want to show off? So this one, uh, the, so the dog, dog fight ride was a pre-build that I did over the week. And that was the one I was pointing out that I was pretty proud of. I put these two car rides in, mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of fill out that land. Um, the moonshine runner this red coaster was also a pre-build from a from uh, this week um that was just flying out over the ocean because the the expanse of water between me and kyle was feeling pretty empty gotcha. um and then i built all this stuff over here on this island to to the north oh yeah um, it looks great the one the bobsled coaster that doesn't kill you mm -hmm. And then this mine car ride, and then this uh, airplane water ride. Wow, that's a, yeah, you got crazy coasters. Um, Kyle Bailey, I know you joined a little late, but but uh, what what have you been doing with your time here? Uh, so I did I did add some minor rides just to fill in the uh, the gaps. I, I I don't know what you call them, but they go they're just like the little things you get in and they spin you around. Yeah. I added a. Um, like a Viking ship that goes back and forth. I, again, don't know what that's called. Um, mm -hmm. I forget what I have. It's been a while since I've been to a theme park in real life. And then I am working on another custom coaster that hopefully I will not delete this time. That looks exciting. Uh, and yeah. William Yosefitz Crispers, what have you been doing? Um, I built this maze that is just an empty field. <laughs> People are still <laughs> struggling um, through it. Yeah, it took me more work than if I had just built a maze, a regular maze. <laughs> uh, I built this coaster next to it. Um, the, I actually, uh, mine precious is what it's called. Um, 
it German? Yes. Yes, it is German. Then I built uh, this little island over here with lots of cogs and a scrambled and a Fabergé. Mm -hmm. And then I made uh, rimming, which goes around the rim of the entire, <laughs> entire park. You made it. I made it. Yes, I made rimming. These people are uh, going to walk like a half mile down the station to get to the ride. Yeah. Um, it's great. So, yeah. That's a good launch? roller coaster. And then... Um, I fixed a couple other coasters, and then I spent the last probably half an hour just placing chicken restaurants on the Middle Island, mm -hmm. and I think I got up to 38. Great. So, Great job. You guys got a lot of chicken. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, and uh, we are at 2,740, which I believe is maybe 50 more than we started the stream with. Wait, 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 wait. It's not <laughs> what I'm at. Wait, read the number again, because that's not the number I have. 2,743. That's what I'm I have. I'm reading 2,925. You should have Jake save the game and <laughs> send it to you. No, that's, that's cheating. So I think the good news is when we're desynced, you guys are still building. It's just like the state of the game gets out of sync. That's all. Because I still see everything okay. you guys have built. Um, okay. So we're getting there. This may take a little bit. I'm, I'm going to say we have six episodes total. So this is episode three. We're halfway through. Um, we're going to see how big we can get this park. We're doing a fantastic job. This is Subpixel Land. Uh, just another fantastic episode from Subpixel Inc., our series where we uh, find and spend the billions of dollars of revenue and profit and expenditures <laughs> that pass through Subpixel on a daily basis. It's true. And Subpixel Inc. is just one small series that's part of Subpixel. We are a fantastic YouTube channel, but also a Twitch and Mixer streamer. We do streams like this. We do them every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern now. 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Will already teased it. We're going to be playing Super Mario Maker 2. That's a special, special, special YouTube Twitch and Mixer stream. But in between now and then, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, Kyle's going to be hosting a Call of Duty Warzone stream. It's going to be fantastic. Heck yeah. Uh, that's going to be heads up Twitch and Mixer only. Not going to be on YouTube, but Subpixel team. You can find us on Twitch. Mixer, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook under the handle at Subpixel Team. Or you can find us at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel where we've got plenty of fantastic content, uh, all sorts of documentaries about Iceland, about Epitasis, about the Morristown Game Vault, about Halo CE mod community, and our latest edited video, which came out this past Monday. I wrote, Jake did some fantastic editing on, on the Red Faction demo and why I think it's the perfect game demo. Folks, that's going to be it for Subpixel, but we still have four people on the stream. Let's go bottom to top. Will, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And Kyle, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. And Jake, where can people find you? Twitter at underscore Jake Terrio, SoundCloud Jake Terrio music. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson and also at Bluefin Brands where I'm going to be buying. I'm going to try not. I'm going to try not to buy $100 worth of gunpla. I'm going to keep it a little under. Hawking oh. secondhand gunpla. Oh, baby daddy. I got to get that just nothing straight better. from the distributor. That's what I need. Um, I think that's going to do it for us, folks. Yikes. Closing thoughts. How are we feeling about Subpixel Land? We're never going to make it. <laughs> hey, we're not going to make it to 9,000 or whatever the Six number was. Six episodes. We'll see what I, we can All I can say is. is I want to get off. I'm so wet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Let's end it at that note. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, guys, for streaming with us. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I got to find.